I know you're gonna dig this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, welcome to the Funk Chronicles. I'm your host, Dr. Turk Logan from Logan Communications Incorporated and the Funk Music Hall of Fame and Exhibition Center. And I am truly honored, I, and I say that a lot, but I'm truly honored to have our Honorable Mayor, Nan Whaley, from Dayton, Ohio, the Mayor of Dayton. Welcome to the show, Mayor. Thanks, Dr. Logan. Great to be here. Yeah, it's great to have you here. You're actually not from Dayton, Ohio. You're from Indiana, right? Right, right. It's like most uh, folks from Dayton. Uh, there's some folks that have been here for generations, but a lot of folks come in through through other places. And uh, went to the University of Dayton and stayed and made Dayton my home about 20 years ago now. And you have uh, your undergrad from the University of Dayton. Correct. Chemistry, I believe yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. So what were you thinking when you got your? Were you going to be a scientist or a chemist or? Yeah, I really thought I'd be like a pharmacist. Okay. So that was one of the things I thought I'd do, but. Um, I really got involved in politics and getting involved with people. I really like people and right. enjoy the opportunity to um, try to make a community better. I think that was really my calling. So I uh, got it involved in politics and government after graduation. And then you went to Wright State and you I have did. a master's degree in public administration. Yes, Dr. Logan, yes. And you were uh, an adjunct there. What did, what did you teach? Yeah, so I, I taught a class a few years ago, uh, Women in Leadership, and I'm going to teach it this fall as well Excellent. on Monday evenings. Uh, really, you know, looking at how uh, women leaders uh, have different opportunities and different challenges mm -hmm. and uh, a discussion on that. And I just loved getting the opportunity to teach a class. You learn more from the students, oh, I really. Was a professor at C Central State. So, you know, before, so you know I exactly know. what I mean. Love being in there with those kids. Right, so it's a great opportunity. So this fall I'll be doing that. We're going to bring a funk center to your city. Wonderful to identify and honor musicians locally that came out of Dayton, Ohio, regionally, nationally, and internationally because there's so many of them. And we want to make sure that the mayor of Dayton and the city commission, the city fathers and mothers uh, support that. What do you see as, as we can do kind of a tag team together with that? Well, I mean, I, uh, Mr. Webb came to the commission meeting last week and gave us a nice update on you know, just the history of um, funk and its future uh, here in the city and how we cre we really created that sound here in Dayton. Uh, the commission is really excited. I know Commissioner Mems has been working closely with the group sure. to figure out ways that uh, we can be helpful and, you know, really find opportunities to celebrate what is um, a great music history and hopefully inspire some of our young people for the future on ways that they can create a sound coming out of Dayton, Ohio. Well, you know, one of the things that have, uh, I was telling you about making contribution to this great city because so many great people, both men and women, black and white, have made so many great contributions to this city. And when I was a teenager, I was just in awe. But back in 1971, when yours truly started playing the funk music, it wasn't real popular. The word wasn't real popular. And the managers that I worked for would always pull me in, and I'd get a little spanking if in the event that they thought they heard the wrong word. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah, and that, that's a true story. And then James Brown, who was one of the legendary masters of funk, came out with Make It Funky, you know, and then it kind of caught on right. and kind of grew from that perspective. But who would have thought? 44 years ago, we were sitting here now talking about make, bringing the Funk Center to today in Ohio. So that's in, that, that, I think that piece of history is very important. What's your roadmap for the city of Dayton? Well, if you go to my website at nanwhaley.com, uh, we have put together, when I ran for mayor, a 22-page 
document that talks about jobs, economic development, and investment in the community, uh, and, uh, and, and how we create partnerships to make that happen. Uh, each year, we update that data and update that, that, um, that document mm -hmm. so we can really report out to the community on how we're doing with Excellent. the roadmap for Dayton. You know, it's key for us to make sure that we have good quality paying jobs. The funk um, uh, movement could be argued that you saw both in Detroit with Motown and funk in Dayton really coming from that really strong middle class. Right. And that opportunity for people to have a decent paying job, but then also pursue their passion at the same time. And, and when I you think see the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio. Right. They've created jobs, they've created notoriety for the city, and you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure that that